Hey guys, so today we're gonna film a very, very fun DIY. Somebody DM'd these to me. Um, Fashion Bomb Daily featured Kim Kardashian and she was wearing these slides, or not slides, I can't even say. She was wearing slingbacks with like a fur toe and like had a wrap around the foot and a chain on the side. They were really, really cool shoes. The designer was Olgana Paris, and I never heard of that brand, but they have some really, really cool shoes, including these ones that I'm going to DIY for you guys. And I did my best to replicate them. I think they came out really cool and close to the original shoe, and I'm excited for them. I think they're really cool. So this is kind of what it's gonna turn out to look like. See, chain on the side and fur and the, everything going on. And what you're going to need is boa, um, ribbon, oh my gosh, I can't, today I can't, I'm having a day today guys, I'm not even kidding, but we're gonna do this, we're gonna power through, we need a chain link, and uh, pliers, are these called pliers, you're gonna need these, and then scissors, and, I, oh a glue gun, <laughs> and a glue gun, and glue sticks, and a glue pad if you want. I used industrial strength glue, so my glue was getting stuck on things. It's stuck, I don't know, my landlord might be a little bit mad. We might have to get someone in here, scrape the glue off a couple things, but it's going to hold it forever at least, or I hope for a really long time. But that's all you need. All right, let's make these shoes before I go crazy. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut the buckle off the shoe. This part was scary because it's like once you do it, you fully committed to doing this DIY. So do it with confidence. <laughs> then you're gonna pull out the ribbon and you're gonna put place it on the bottom of the shoe wherever you wanna put it. It's gonna be diagonal, so you have to put it uh, towards the center of the shoe. So closer towards the center. And then you just glue it on from underneath the shoe. So in order to properly measure out how much ribbon you need, you actually have to try the shoe on. So you put the shoe on and you wanna make sure the strap is tied on very tight or place it very tight around your ankle and wrap the ribbon, ribbon pretty tight onto your ankle because this is what's gonna hold the shoe up. So you wanna make sure that it's right. And you also wanna make sure you cut exactly the amount that you need, not too much and not too little because this is one measurement that you can't kinda slack on. And then you're just going to glue on the ribbon, but the trick to gluing on the ribbon is to start from the end. So you're going to glue the end first, and then slowly glue it along the strap of the shoe. Once you have that on, you're going to start working on the second strap, which is the one that's going to have the chain length. So what I did is measure the length that I cut on the first shoe, and then I just matched that length to how long I wanted the second strap to be on the second shoe. So that's usually how I measure. If I want something to be identical, I just do it on the first shoe without measuring, and then when it comes to the second shoe, I just measure it to the first shoe so that they are the same. And this is how it will look when you cut it. So same concept that I mentioned before, I used about eight chain links for the first shoe, so I just counted out the same for the second shoe, and then I used the pliers to uh, take apart one of the links, like the link I didn't need, so that I could separate it from the rest of the chain link. And then what you do is you glue one end of the chain link to that strap that you just cut. So here's the trick to getting the chain link on perfectly. You're going to cut a little piece of ribbon, any size will do, maybe 2 or 3 inches, and you're going to glue one end to the other end of the chain link.
then you're going to put the shoe on and you kind of adjust the chain wherever you see fit that you want it to lie on when you have the shoe on. So the only way you can do this properly is if you have the shoe on so you have to try the shoe on because if you do it before and you put the shoe on it's going to be a mess. Then you just take a needle or a pin or sewing pin and you pin it into place where you're going to glue it. Then you bring it back to your working station and you take out the needle very carefully because you don't want to lose the place that you set for it and then you're going to pull back the ribbon and you're going to glue the two ribbons together right where you set it to be. Once it's nice and glued, you're just going to cut off the excess ribbon. And now your chain is perfectly in place. And now the final step is to glue on the boa. You're going to start from one end and you're going to slowly glue it on piece by piece until you reach the other end. Once you have the boa on securely, you're going to trim it because in this shoe, it's not really puffy. Um, so you're just gonna trim it down so that it's less wild. And that's it. What do you guys think? Yay or nay? I like them. I think they came out really cool and I'm excited to wear them. I have a few weddings so I think these would be perfect. Give it a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for stopping by and always thank you for all your suggestions. I love them so keep them coming. And don't forget to check out my other shoe DIYs and I'll see you guys next time.